Yeah. In case you didn't hear me in that last part. They got more customers now. The healthcare insurance industry has more customers now. That's what this bill is able to do for them. Suddenly, a whole bunch of people that they weren't willing to insure in the first place, they now have to insure, and the government is giving them incentives to do so. By the way, here's a hint. That's why the bill is so expensive. That's the reason why it's costing so much. Because it's supporting the industry and giving them money and extra incentive to insure the people that they weren't willing to insure in the beginning because of their so-called profit margins. Here's another clue for those of you worried about this being a socialist takeover, which it should be apparent to you it's not because it's actually supporting capitalists. If this actually was a bill written by a socialist for socialist ideals, the bill actually wouldn't be that expensive anymore because they wouldn't be writing it in a way to support capitalists. <laughs> which is what I think is the ironic thing. Because the same people who are against socialism are the same ones who are against this bill for it being so expensive. Do some fucking research before you start throwing some labels around, okay? <laughs> really? It's hilarious. And the, I can look at this, you know, in a hilarious way. I can laugh at this because, again, I really didn't have much of an emotional stake one way or the other. On one hand, I would have been like, yeah, look at these selfish MFs of the building get passed. But on the other hand, you know, this is the type of country I live in and poor people will be able to survive. You know, it's, it's, it's just like, it's hard for me to explain exactly the way I look at these type of things. But I, I'm not going to get into that now because it's going to be a whole video in and of itself and I'll be here forever. But yeah, back to the bill and the incentives behind it. Healthcare industry is happy now. They got more customers who have to pay. And the government is going to be, you know, giving them a little extra incentive to pick up the people they originally didn't want to pick up because it's not going to be in a way so that they won't lose money the way they thought they'd lose money if they picked up people who had, you know, preset conditions or keeping people on their plans longer, such as children, you know. And I also like, you know, the way that it's set up so that if the onus is on you, the individual, to get the bill. The industry will not get fined for not picking you up. You will get fined if you don't buy it. That should be another clue that this is not a socialist bill or a type of government socialist takeover. Because one thing about socialism, despite its flaws, is that it's supposed to be concerned more about the, the citizens itself than about the industry that's supposed to be supporting them. Say what you want about government takeovers and all that, and I'm not saying you guys are wrong, but I want you guys to be fair. If you look at the way the system is set up, the people themselves are not necessarily supposed to be effed over by the system. That's why they believe that the government should try to take over these industries, because the government supposedly is going to make sure that they don't get taken advantage of. I say supposedly because we know how governments work, but come on now. But no, nah, here in this system, the onus is on you to buy the bill. I mean, not to buy the bill, sorry, to buy the insurance. You got to buy the coverage. If you don't buy the coverage, you get penalized. You get fined. And sure, the government is going to try to make it easier for you to buy the bill. But still, the language of the bill is you better buy it. It's now in the law that you have to have health care, uh, health insurance. And if you don't get it, the pressure is on you, not the company, the insurance company itself. That doesn't sit right with me. I mean, I truly do believe in something called freedom. And as last time I checked, saying that a system that originally was trying to take advantage of me by only being able to, you know, making me pay an obscene amount of money just to make sure my ass is healthy. And then later on, this uh, something that's supposed to reform that type of system is now telling me that I have to give them my money or else. That doesn't sound like reform to me. Sorry, it doesn't. So yeah, it's cracking me up that, you know, both sides don't seem to be noticing these things. The, act, 
They're arguing about points that quite frankly have little to do with the bill itself and more has to do with their beliefs about the bill and their preconceived prejudices about the way the government is supposed to run. But little to do with the bill itself. They're not actually looking at what the bill does because if they did, they'd realize that they're both kind of being fucked. Those screaming socialist takeover, they didn't really look at this bill. It's their fears that are making them say that or some nut on TV or some idiot who's in power, who wants to stay in power, making them say that, but quite frankly, it's not a socialist bill. If it was, we'd be hearing more complaints from the healthcare industry, and they're not complaining. They're like this. And if this was the boon to healthcare that many other people are trying to say it is, I'd be seeing more in the bill to actually reform healthcare itself, not just simply about giving people, you know, getting people access to an industry that still needs fixing. And for those people screaming, oh, it's too expensive, too expensive, too expensive, the irony is, if this was a socialist bill, it wouldn't cost that much. I mean, yeah, it would still cost a lot, but it wouldn't be costing as much as this bill does now, because it's trying to, you know, sort of have its cake and eat it too. Yeah, we're going to try to give tons of people coverage, but we got to make sure that all these companies are still able to stay in business, so we got to do things to make sure that their profits stay high. So yet tax dollars are you know, basically being used to keep these companies afloat. Hooray! It's great. By the way, for those of you who are like saying, see, this is why the Republicans were fighting against this in the first place. They knew all this. No, the only reason why the Republicans are fighting against this is because they didn't come up with the idea and they're not in power. That's why. That's the reason why. Because, quite frankly, we know that they're business shills. We know that they will do things for the industry. They've been doing it for years. That's why they were fighting against it in the first place. But now they were fighting against it because Obama's the one in power. And for those of you who try to say, you see, this proves that they're racist. No, 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 no. You got to understand, the Republicans right now, they love playing a particular game where they will, anybody who's going to go against their enemy, they will basically do whatever it takes to get them on their side so they can nudge them out of power. And then once they get in power, they do whatever the hell they want. Just look at that, you know, the years we had with Bush. There were a lot of things conservatives want that Bush didn't do. They were in power. They didn't care. All politicians are like that. You get them into power and then they do whatever the hell they want. But in this case, you now have the Republicans desperately trying, and they are, don't think that they're not. For all the stuff that, they, that some of them were saying about, I don't give a damn about the Tea Party movement, oh, they're watching it very closely. And anything they can try to do to try to appease these people, they will do in small ways to try to get them to kind of leave that movement and join them. They get, why are you doing a Tea Party movement? We're doing this all along. I don't know why you guys are going against and joining these crazies. We're, we're doing the same things. Come on now. We're on your side, really. And they're catering to nuts, just as they've always done. Well, I shouldn't say they've always done, but they've been doing for the, what, since the 60s and 70s? Not, well, since the late 60s, 70s, and definitely in the 80s, they were like, hey, we need to um, cater to the nuts here. That's how we'll get in the power. And they don't seem to realize that people are now looking at them going, what the is wrong with you? <laughs> at least, you know, people who actually care about things such as decency and freedom and, you know, equality for all people. If you truly believe in those things, you can't exactly go with the current Republican agenda. Because for anybody who truly believes in equality, then that means they're going to be, you know, equality for every last citizen, so they wouldn't be willing to pass laws, for instance, that dictates who and who can't get married. Or, you know, how much money a woman is supposed to be making in the, you know, in a, in a job. You know, things like that. There's a lot of little clues to let you know exactly what a person thinks about other people in this country. If someone truly believes in equality, then they'll support the type of things that will make sure that people are treated equally. The minute you see something kind of going against that, that should let you know what's really in their head. And for all this talk that the Republicans say, oh, we've always believed in small government. Oh, we've always believed in individual rights. They seem to be willing to trample on them as much as possible if it means that they get to stay in power. And I'm not saying the Democrats are any better. I'm not that stupid. 
but it's just cracking me up how much this party is, you know, just really showing its true colors these days. Because all they really want is they're desperate to get rid of Obama. They really are trying to find some way to knock him off his seat. Simply because they're not the ones in power. All this talk about racism, I honestly don't think that there are that many racists in the Republicans. They're just catering to them. But I don't really think they're that effed up. I'll finish up with this in the last part. 